does not love wearing a great skincare product or a great beauty product, am I right? Well, today I have got a stack of beauty products to share with you guys. Some have been my tried and true for years, some I've enjoyed for at least a few months, and some I picked up just today because either I read that they had great reviews or I thought, let's just give it a whirl and see how it goes. And all of these fine little products, except for a couple of little bonus products I'm gonna share with you at the end, are from Walmart. So let's get into it and see what I got. Hi everyone, it's Angela, welcome. My channel is all about fashion entertainment while still showing you things that will help to keep you looking fabulous in your 40s and beyond. So if that kind of thing sounds interesting to you, consider hitting that red subscribe button. Okay, so we're starting off plain Jane here today, people. I have just a little eyeliner on and a little mascara, but other than that, there is nothing on my face. The reason I wanted to do that is because the first two products I wanna share with you, we're testing them straight away right here. So the first product I picked up, I always love a good sheet mask. A sheet mask is perfect for me. If I'm just at home during the day, I'll just put one of these on, especially I just got home from Florida, and let me tell you, my skin was beautiful down in Florida. <laughs> it, the, with the humidity down there, oh my gosh, it was just great all the time. I have been back in Michigan now for about two, three days, and let me tell you, I am drying up like a prune. My face is dry, my hands are dry, my lips are dry. I'm like, I need some help big time. So I picked up a sheet mask. And I'll tell you what, this looked pretty interesting to me. So it's by Neutrogena, and it is a Hydro Boost mask. And it says that it has hyaluronic acid in it, which I thought that's gotta be a good thing. This was $2.50 at my local Walmart. It says that it instantly quenches dry skin, leaving it smooth and supple. Right about now, I am needing that big time. It says, this is no ordinary mask. It's hydrogel material. I've never heard of that before, but I'm always up for trying a great cheat mask. We're gonna test this out first since I have nothing else on my skin and we'll go and layer from there. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna leave it on for the 15 to 30 minutes it says. I'll probably go the whole 30. And then I'll come back and let you know if this is worth it or not. Just to give you a little look at what this looks like on, it is, it's like a gel. Um, it feels really good on my skin. It's a two-piece mask. So one half goes here and down. The other half is the top part of the face. Now, the thing is, in the past, when I've had masks like this, they seem to kind of fall down. So we're going to see what happens here. And there's a little lip part here. I'm going to actually put it up and over my mouth because my lips have been super dry. So we're going to try that too. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so here's the same mask after 20 minutes. It's still on pretty good. It's coming off a little bit along the bottom chin area. Um, but other than that, it looks like it's staying on pretty good. And part of this is just because I took the lip part down so that I could actually talk, right? Okay, I'm gonna take this off in a few minutes and then I'll give you the details. Okay, so I just took that mask off. I left it on for 25 minutes, which was just shy of what the maximum time it said you could leave it on for. And let me tell you what I liked about it. First of all, it was cooling. So I could see this kind of a mask feeling really good on your skin in the summertime, especially. Um, taking it off, I like how it makes my skin feel as far as not being tacky at all. There is not this extra goop all over the place that makes your skin feel sticky or tacky. So I do like that. It just feels very clean and it's dry actually to the touch. So that's really nice. The only minor bad thing I'm gonna actually say about it is that while it did stay in place most of the time, just in the bottom chin area is where it just kind of started pulling away from the skin, but like minimal, so it wasn't bad at all. I'm gonna say for $2.50, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this was a score. So would I get this again? Absolutely. That was a good find for very, being the very first time. Okay, the next thing we're gonna move on to, who is having a problem with dry hands this winter? Again, I had no problem with that with all that wonderful humidity down in Florida. Although I'm gonna say, 
the humidity wrecked havoc on my hair. I couldn't wear it down hardly at all because I mean, it just frizzed up big time. Now I'm back in Michigan and I got good hair days back again. But let me tell you, the skin is drying up like a prune, okay? The normal skin lotion I've been using at home, um, it seems to feel greasy. It doesn't feel moisturized for long before it feels very dry again. So I went online at Walmart and I read some reviews and noticed that this Neutrogena, it's a Norwegian formula hand cream, uh, concentrated relief for dry, rough hands. This had a lot of great reviews. People were saying they basically couldn't live without it. I'm like, Arel, I need to try that because right now I need something like that. So this small container, it's two ounce bottle. This was $3.50. If it works as well as the reviews were saying, I'll be happy to pay that any day. So let's give this a whirl. So this is a brand new product for, for me to try. And I'm gonna give you the details on whether I think it's worth it. This is what it looks like, a little bottle when you open it up. Let's try this out because I'm telling you what, my hands need uh, something right now. This is what it looks like. So it almost is a very pale white cream. And let's see what it feels like on your hands because I don't like things that feel really oily or sticky on my hands. And I wash my hands so much right now as it is that I don't want something also that comes off right when you wash it. So this feels a little sticky to me, honestly. It feels a little like Vaseline, like you're putting Vaseline on your skin. Now, let me rub that in all the way. Maybe it's gonna be amazing as far as keeping your, your hands feeling hydrated for a longer period of time. That would be great. And let's see once it dries, if I still get that feeling of that Vaseline-y kind of like, you know, stickiness. So let's pause on that and let that kind of absorb and see what happens after a little while. Uh, we'll come back to that. So, okay, for now, a little sticky, a little Vaseline-y, I'm not sure. The next thing we're going to go to is a product by e.l.f. Now, I have used a lot of different e.l.f. products in the past and I actually really like them. I have a few that are in my pile right here that I use all the time. This is a new one for me today, but because I liked e.l.f. so much, I picked it up and I wanted to try it. So it is a e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. Now, we're gonna try this out since I have nothing else on my face and I wanna see what this feels like. It does have hyaluronic acid and peptide complex in it. Um, I have tried a white kind of jelly-like day cream from them before. Love it. And I think that's the only cream I've tried. I have a couple of other products here that are not a cream or a moisturizer, but we're going to give this a whirl because there, had, there were a lot of good reviews on it. So I want to try this as well. And I want to also compare it to what I use on a daily basis that I really like. Here's what the jar looks like when you open it up. Let's see what the cream looks like inside. This is white. So I have used, like I say, a gel cream before. It's, it was clear, but when you put it on, it was like putting a drink of water on your face. It was really nice, actually. But I thought, let's try this one because I couldn't resist the name. Holy Hydration Face Cream. So let's take a look. So right out of the gate, you've got a white cream. Let's put this on and see how it feels on my face. It doesn't feel heavy, which I like. I like things that are much lighter on my face. So, okay, let's let that sink in and see how that is. It had a lot of great reviews, which I was encouraged by. So we're gonna try that out. Let's give it a little time and I'm gonna compare it to two things that I buy from Ulta, actually, that I really do like. This is by, uh, this is a day cream that I use. It's by Skin um, Iceland. It's an Ar Arctic repair cream. I use this as a day cream. Love it. And I've been using this for a while. It's a big container. It's not cheap. But I don't know if you can see this, but really I've had this for a while and I've probably used a quarter of it. So sometimes I'll even use this on my hands too. 
The only thing is it doesn't really feel moisturized on my hands for very long. So I like this as a day cream on my face. And then at nighttime, I use the same brand. It's Skin Iceland. It's Oxygen Infusion Night Cream. Small little jar, but you don't need much. So I put this on at night when I wash my face. So this, these two products I really like. So I'm comparing the e.l.f. to see how much I like this compared to the other two. So far, I don't feel like it's very greasy at all. I like that. So it doesn't feel very thick. It still feels very thin, like a very thin coating. So I do like that. And we're gonna have to see how makeup looks like on top of this because that's the other big deal. If I'm using this in the daytime as like hydration under my makeup, I need to know that my makeup looks okay with this on under it. So we're gonna wait a little longer, come back and compare. Okay, you guys, we are now getting to a product I have used for years. Love it. I don't, I've tried other products to see like how they are and keep coming back to this one every time. This is by Gar Garnier, Garnier. <laughs> it is a BB cream and you gotta be careful because they have a new formula out. I get the old one. And let me tell you how much I like this. Every time I order it, I get like three packages at a time. That's how much I like it. That doesn't mean I go through it quickly, it's because I'm afraid they're gonna go out of stock on it at one point or another because they came out with a new formula, but I still like the old. So this is an anti-aging light to medium color. It is a five-in-one Miracle Skin Perfector BB cream. This thing is the bomb. Now, for me personally, I do not like a heavy foundation. I've never been able to wear it and feel comfortable on my skin. I don't like feeling like I have a mask on. So I always go for something light. Th what this does, it gives my skin hydration with a little tint of color and it doesn't hide all the age spots, but it does a pretty darn good job, okay? For, and for me to feel like I don't have a ton on my skin, love it, okay? I will buy this until they stop selling it in the store. Walmart. I think I got each package for maybe it was $8. And I know I've seen it for like $12 in other stores per package. So I bought three on Walmart. Yeah. So I'm going to put this on now with a beauty blender and show you guys. So this is no makeup on my skin at all right now. I'm going to show you now what just the adding this will look like to my skin. I'll be right back. Okay. So let's see if you can tell a difference. I just put this BB cream all over my face. You don't need much, actually. I used a beauty blender and I just it just adds, like I say, a little tint, a little coverage, and actually it has um, SPF in here too. SPF of 15, not a ton, but it's something. Um, so when I'm filming, except today, I will normally also put some color corrector underneath my eyes where I get like a little bit of those dark circles. And then I will use the next product I'm going to share with you that I am loving. Been using it for months. Actually, it's been probably over a year now. So for concealer, I used to use Tarte Shape Tape. I used that for a long time. Now, I liked it, but what I found after a while of using it was right under my eyes. It would sink into the point where it almost would accentuate my wrinkles under my eyes. I didn't like that. So then I was watching another YouTuber long time ago who talked about this next product. I am so excited. Again, I've been using this now for over a year, probably a year and a half now. This is so much cheaper. It does the job even better because I don't get the wrinkles accentuated under my eyes and you can find it at Walmart. Okay, it is e.l.f. It is their 16-hour camo concealer. They have this in several shades. Let me see what shade this is so I can give you a reference. I use a medium sand color. 
and I just use a little in a, in a couple of different areas. So I use it under my eyes. So this is what the applicator looks like. I just use a little under my eyes here. I use a little on my nose because I've got some spots up there. And I can't really tell for sure because I need a mirror. But I have a darker spot under my eye on this side. And I just pat. That's all I do. I just kind of take a beauty blender and I pat that in. Now watch, it looks horrible because I'm not even looking in a mirror, but you know what? We're gonna just work it out here, girlfriends. Okay, and then once I put this on and blend it in, I will go back over this and put a little bit of the BB cream on top. This camo, okay, guess how much this is? Guess how much? Six dollars, yeah. My Shape Tape by Tarte, I used to be paying like $30, to $30, maybe a little more for it. I'm gonna say this is better. And I use that Shape Tape for a long time. I mean years, and this is better. I will continue to use this um, because it works so well, I love it. So it does a good job of covering, and that's another one of my favorite e.l.f. products. And I saw it at Walmart, I'm like, Hello. Going with the whole e.l.f. Um, the e.l.f. makeup, let me tell you about this little product here that I found. This is an eyeliner. They, it is a no budge eyeliner. So I used to use IT Cosmetics. It was an, a no budge eyeliner as well. And you could twist it and it would come up on the top. This was at least $20, maybe 22, something like that. And it used to, I used to use a brown color. Well, I mean, at Ulta for that much money, I liked it. There's no problem with it. But then I found the e.l.f. product. It's almost like the dupe, okay? This is a no budge retractable liner. It's in the color coffee. They also have this in black and they also have it in charcoal. I like the coffee color. I either tend to gravitate towards like a green, a almost like a forest green for eyeliner or a brown. So this eyeliner I have been using now for probably two months, maybe a little more, and I still have eyeliner in it. Now granted, I don't wear eyeliner every day. If I'm home and I'm not filming, I tend not to wear makeup. I give my face a break, you know? But this little guy is $4 at Walmart. $4 compared to 22 or more for this one from It Cosmetics. And I'm gonna tell you it rolls on just as well. It doesn't run at all. I love this. What a great deal for $4. If you've never checked this out, you need to. Okay, so that's another one of my favorite products. Update on the face cream, I'm liking this. Um, I looked at it with the BB cream on underneath or over the top, and I'm thinking this Holy Hydration Face Cream, that's going to be a good day cream. like it. This was $12. That's not bad for a day cream, right? And it looks like there is, uh, let's see how much is in here. This is 1.8 ounces, and with how little you actually need, it will last a long time. So happy with this. The hands, the hand cream does not feel as sticky anymore. I'm gonna keep giving this a whirl because right now I need something. Uh, my normal hand creams are not doing it justice at this time of year with the snow, the low humidity outside of Michigan. So I'm gonna keep giving this a whirl, but you do need to give it a little time to set. Don't put it on and immediately think you can just go do whatever and you're not gonna get grease on anything. Needs a little time. We are moving on. Okay, here's another item I picked up at Walmart today. This is new to me, but I read a lot of great reviews on it. So it is by Maybelline and it is a lip gloss. It's a lifter. So it's supposed to plump up your lips without stinging the heck out of them. And this color is Petal. Um, so this was $6. We're gonna try this because I'm always up for a good lip gloss, a good color, one that keeps my lips moisturized would be great. And um, 
I let I like I said I let I read a lot of good reviews. Let's see how this is. So this is what it looks like. This is a petal color. Ah. Oh wow. Very smooth going on straight away from that. It's probably not even on my lips, is it? Oh Lord. Okay. When I can see it from the camera, it looks like a pretty color. I don't feel any tingling or weirdness as far as that goes at all because it's supposed to be a lip plumper. Um, it feels very smooth, very much moisturized. I like that a lot. So what do you guys think? Is this a good color? I, I will gravitate towards a good lip gloss any day compared to a matte because it just adds hydration to my lips. And at this time of year in the winter time, I need the hydration, you know. This, like I said, was about $6 maybe and change. Um, if, it, if you guys like it as well as I think the color looks on me now, I'll have to go in the bathroom and look. Um, this is gonna be a winner. I mean, it feels great. So right out of the gate, I like it. Now we're getting to the bonus items that I need to tell y'all about because these items are my favorite. They're not from Walmart. You cannot get them at Walmart, but they are so outstanding. I need to tell you about them so you know where to go get them. We're going with the first thing. I have gotten so many compliments over time from years, okay, really, of this. So the first thing I have to tell you about is this little jar of love. It is called Amber Oil. I wear this as perfume. And sometimes I take a break from it. I don't wear it all the, every day. But when I do wear it, always, hands down, I get the most compliments on people love the smell. They're like, what are you wearing? That smells amazing. Let me tell you, some of you have heard the story before, okay? I was watching an award show years, like, two, three years ago, when they used to happen, right, before COVID. And this actress, I don't even remember who she was. She was up at the mic talking to Ryan Seacrest, and he just got a whiff of her, and he was like, whatever you're wearing smells am amazing. What is that? And she said, oh, it's amber oil. I get it from Whole Foods. I'm like, really? I mean, I can go to my local Whole Foods and get that same thing. She's wearing something that actually won't cost me a million dollars. So I went, to, I went to Whole Foods and I searched this out. This is where I've been buying it ever since. And let me tell you, like I said, I get so many compliments on the smell of this. It's just an oil. I mean, but it lasts long on your skin. It is not overwhelming. It is just such a subtle scent, but it smells so good. So I've seen this on Amazon, but it's more money on Amazon, unbelievably. I think I pay for this little bottle and I can't even read how many ounces is in here right now. Let me put my glasses on. It's one sixth of an ounce, five milliliters, okay? I pay about $8 at Whole Foods for this, but it lasts me a long time. Don't wear it every day, but I'm gonna say it lasts, let's say this little bottle for $8 might last you two, three months. It depends on how much you use and how many days you wear it, but let's just say about two, three months. That's a good deal, right? To smell amazing. But like I say, Amazon is more expensive and I wanna say like $10 more expensive. But if you don't live near a Whole Foods and Amazon is all you got, make it last, right? Um, that stuff is amazing. And I've been wearing that for years now. The next two bonus products I have to share with you that did not come from Walmart, but who knows, maybe one day they'll, they'll be selling them. Uh, the first thing is I bought this lip therapy gloss from Thrive. <laughs> You've seen their brand all over Facebook, right? Thrive. Um, so this is the Thrive Cosmetics Lip Therapy Clear Lip Gloss. I bought this before I went to Florida when I had the lip problem going on again with the, you know, no humidity in the air. 
This stuff works really well. And the thing I love about it is a lot of other chapsticks I've tried on in the past, you have to reapply it so often. It doesn't feel like it lasts a long time before your lips are dry again. This stuff, I have to apply it less often. It feels amazing on your lips. And I would definitely buy this again. It's clear, you know, but um, you could put this on over your lipstick too. Amazing. I want to say this could have been about $20, $22, but I'd do it again. I'd buy it again. The other thing that is amazing to me is the Thrive um, Mascara. Now, this one in particular is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Um, I used to use and totally love the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara that comes in a gold tube. I used to just be able to get it at the drugstore or Ulta would carry it as well for maybe like $12. This is a little more expensive. I think it's again in the 20s for a tube of this, but let me tell you, I think I might've found a new favorite. I like the L'Oreal, but this stuff really makes my lashes look thicker, longer. I mean, how can you argue that, right? I have thin lashes, ladies. I mean, it takes me a couple of coats at least with the L'Oreal to make my lashes look thick and long. This stuff, I mean, it makes it look thicker and longer. I just can't, I just, the only problem with this is when you go to take off, off your mascara at night, it's a little harder to get off, but I feel like that's a small price to pay for what they make your lashes look like all day long. So here's what the brush looks like. Nothing amazing, right? I mean, nothing amazing, but this is a brown color. I think it comes in black as well, um, but it has little fibers in it that make your lashes look longer and thicker. So I love that about this stuff. Um, I mean, Believe me, none of this today is sponsored by anybody. This, these are just products I love that I've either worn for a long time or maybe some new ones that I just tried out today to let you know what I think. Um, you may have a different take once you try it yourself. I don't know. But anyway, I'm really glad I found this Thrive Mascara. I will buy this again in a heartbeat. That being said, that is what I have to share with you guys today. I hope you will go out and try some of these items and find something new and amazing for yourself that you would that you will say to yourself, where has this product been all my life? That's what I said with some of these things. When I found them, I'm like, okay, there is no replacement. That is the one I'm sticking with. By the way, I have a really good Walmart type video with a twist coming out later this week or maybe the beginning of next week. Keep your eye out for that. You're not going to want to miss it. Okay, so until I see you next time, I hope you're having a great day and week and you're staying safe out there. See you soon, my friends. Bye.